The hummingbird grew as big as a jet. <laughs> That's like scaling up a research reactor until it melts down on takeoff. The flap of its wings would send gusts of wind tearing through the streets like a hurricane. So aerodynamic power scales with the cube of velocity and square of length. So the mechanical load will explode. Same reason why you can't have a small wind turbine design at 100 times size without it tearing itself apart. We're taking a fuel assembly that is critical and stretching it apart. Everything gets nonlinear fast. We need to drain more than two billion flowers daily just to keep its wings flapping. Energy demand goes up a lot. Uranium has better energy density. I mean, if this thing had a nuclear powered heart, maybe. That's over 40,000 gallons of nectar every single day. But at that size, Nuclear powered heart could work though. Its heart would tear itself apart trying to pump blood through the entire body. Yes, fluid systems hit mechanical limits, just like reactor coolant loops. You can't scale up the pipes and expect the same flow rate. Pressure loss scales with length, while stress increases quadratically. That's a rupture. Even if it survived, the heat from its massive wing muscles would build so fast, it would cook the bird from the inside out. Just like thermal runaway, power density grows faster than your system's ability to reject heat, which is why nuclear power plants have massive steam generators as a heat sink, and many emergency cooling systems. Overall, this is a biological Chernobyl waiting to happen. Extreme energy density, no heat sink, and zero structural margin.